Now let's talk about the simple gear train. That's the first kind of gear train that you have in the topic of gear trains. Now what is a simple gear train? A simple gear train is a gear train which is a collection of gears in which you have only one gear on each shaft. So you have two parallel shafts. So this is the first shaft, this is the second shaft, both are parallel and on each shaft you have just one gear. So it becomes a simple gear train. Okay, so if you look at it from the top, you look at that from the top, okay, so you will get a gear like this. So this is the first gear, alright, so this is the shaft on which this gear is mounted, okay. And you have the second gear, it's a slightly bigger gear, like this. And this is the shaft on which this gear is mounted. Okay, so this becomes a simple gear train in which these shafts are rotating like this. So the shafts which are in direct contact will be rotating in the opposite direction. So if the first gear is moving in a clockwise direction, the second one will move in a anti-clockwise direction. So a very important thing is that the two immediate mating gears are in opposite directions. Okay, so rotate in opposite directions. Alright, so if you have to keep the directions of the driver and the driven same, because let us say this is the uh, pinion and this is the gear. So the driver and the driven have opposite uh, rotational directions. If I need them to be in the same direction, I will put one idle gear in between. So I will say this is the driver. Okay, and then I'll put a small gear in between, a very small gear, and this is the bigger gear, which is the driven. So if this goes in the clockwise direction, this idle gear will go in the anti-clockwise direction, and due to this anti-clockwise direction, the driven would rotate in the clockwise direction, which is the same as the driver. So in order to keep the direction same, so you put idle gear in between. So these are idler gears. Okay. If you put two idler gears, then again you will have the opposite directions. Okay. So you need to see that if you want to keep the direction same, then how many idler gears would be required. If you want to keep them opposite, then how many would be required. Okay. So it also depends upon that what is the distance in between the driver and the driven shafts. Okay, so that many number of idle gears we can use. So it is all application based, there is no hard and fast route for this. Okay, now if you look at this, Z1 is the number of teeth on pinion, Z2 is the number of teeth on gears, D1 is the PCD for pinion, D D2 is the PCD for gear. N1 is the RPM for pinion and N2 is the RPM for gear. So if you want to write down the velocity ratio, it is N1 by N2 which is Z2 by Z1, which is D2 by D1. So it has a very simple formula to use. So this takes care of the simple gear trains. After simple gear trains, we look at the compound gear trains.